Hey everyone, it's Alyssa Corum here with your technical analysis. Now when you're looking for top stocks to buy, it's positive when you see a rebound from a key support level. That kind of action can potentially be a chance for existing shareholders to add to their positions. Or it could mean the stock is that much closer to a new buy point. Both are true for Match Group stock. So let's take a look at this daily chart here. Match Group is rebounding powerfully from a test of support at the 50-day moving average. Now, how do we know this is a powerful rebound? Well, look at the volume. It's tracking about 150% above average. Now, this move puts Matt shares just 5% below a potential buy point here at 75.38 from this new flat base. But for investors who got in at the last breakout from this cup with handle base here back in April, the action provides an add-on buying opportunity. That's because this represents the first pullback to and rebound from the 50-day line since the cup with handle breakout. And we consider the first two rebounds off of the 50-day line after a breakout a chance for investors to add to their existing positions. Now, there are a few key factors that need to be considered in this scenario. First, you want to make sure that the rebound is happening with conviction. A big move off of the line in heavy volume is what you want to see, and we're definitely seeing that here. Now, you also want to make sure you're buying as close as possible to the 50-day line after the stock rebounds. Since this is a follow-on buying opportunity, you don't want to give yourself that typical 5% chase zone that we typically use for a breakout from a standard base pattern. Although, aggressive shareholders do use a rebound off, the, off of the 50-day line as a place to initiate a position. Now, if you're not looking to be that aggressive, but you're still interested in this name for your watch list, look for the relative strength line at a new high ground as the stock breaks out to new highs. The relative strength line measures a stock's price performance versus the S&P 500, and you always want to focus on stocks that are outperforming the market. Now, it would also be ideal to see heavy volume accompany the breakout, and it would be bullish if the stock were to close in the upper half of its trading range for the day. So as you can see, there are several different ways investors can handle the action by match group, whether that's by adding shares to an existing position or putting it on your watch list and waiting for a breakout to new highs. For Investors Business Daily, I'm Alyssa Corum. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.